Hello everyone, my name is Andre McClendon and today I'm going to talk about how to program Fractal's Indicator on MetaTrader 4, our MQL4 guys, so let's begin. First thing off, have you guys as a trader open and go to MetaQuotes or press F4. You, should have, you guys should have a screen that pops up like this. And if you go into the top left hand corner, we're going to create a new expert advisor. We're going to call it, you can call it whatever you like, I'm going to call mine this uh, Fractal's. And we're going to be Fractals Test 101. Try that. Now, this is a very easy indicator to program, guys. I'm going to show you how to set it up and how to basically put it into a Expert Advisor pretty easily and, and some tips and some ideas and how to program it with it. So the first thing we're going to need, guys, is this Define line. Now, this Define line is going to help you guys out because it's going to help break down the uh, comment section a little bit easier. So when we uh, start looking at these Fractals, so when programming with the Fractals guys, we're going to be using the default uh, code here in MetaTrader, but I think it's a custom indicator. And we're going to be creating something called this right here. It's going to be this, and let me make it a little bit bigger for you guys. So first thing is going to be called, we're going to create this called a double. Now a double is basically anything that's not a whole number. So when you guys look at the ask price of the bid, it's typically like a bunch of, uh, you know, like one or two numbers in the beginning and a bunch of uh, decimal, uh, after a decimal point, a bunch of numbers. That's what we want. We want, and then we're going to call this fragments upper one. And we're going to use this uh, default code called I fragments. Now we're, you guys can select and hit F1. It'll give you a breakdown of what I'm programming. So if you guys can take a screenshot or look at this right here, you can just pause it and read it for yourself. But basically we're going to create uh, was it 10 upper and 10 lower for the fractals so we can measure back we're going to use null so this is going to work on all available um, symbols now we're going to work on zero for our time frame basically it's going to be default time frame we change it to like the five minute the one hour the four hours going to work on all time frames and we're going to use the upper for mode one and we're going to scan back one candle back now we're going to create nine more of these guys and uh, basically, if you guys also want this code, this code will, will be on my uh, will be on my website if you guys need it. And uh, basically, we're going to create fragments upper one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten guys. And with this, we're going to be also changing the shift from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We're going to scan back ten fragments back. So with this code, guys, we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to be changing just changing a few things about it. And this is going to be our fragment, our I, I fractals, our lower portion. Uh, I'll give you guys a little visual what that means, okay? So if we're on, or I'm on AUDCHF, Swiss franc, I'm going to type in fractals, okay? So when we're looking at fractals, we see that there's upper and lower. So the lower value is going to be the uh, mode lower and the upper is going to be mode upper, okay? Head back to meta quotes. So we can, we're going to be able to see 10 back, we basically have indications for 10 back and 10, uh, 10 back for upper and lower, okay? So now we're gonna read this as a comment section, and we're gonna read this on the screen. Now the reason why I put it this way is so you guys can visually see what, what's ha actually happening, okay? And I'll let me scan up, and this is how it looks. Uh, it is kind of extensive, but it's gonna be very easy to be read when I'm doing strategy tester. Now, the reason why I put this on there, one, because it's be very easy to be read, and secondarily, what um, you guys can create multiple things with this, and I'm going to sh show this in the strategy tester. So I'm going to hit compile. Uh, there's no errors. We're going to go back to MetaTrader right here. Okay, and then we're going to go to our trader, which is called Fractals Test 101. So hit F. Fractals Test 101, and we're going to hit start. Now, if you guys see the screen right here in the top left hand corner, you'll see that all the fractals are giving out values and we try, we've, we'll turn on fractals a little bit, okay? Here we go. So if you guys see the fractals and if that's not a bad color, if you guys want to change the color guys, go to properties, which is F8, you guys can change the color screen to yellow or white on black, I mean, that's a little bit easier for you guys to see. And basically we get actual readouts of what's actually what's actually happened so we have a fractal up here you can see it says 158.103 see 105.03 you guys can see it and all the way back up to 13 count so there's other ways of attempting this but i'm trying to make this as beginner as uh, friendly as possible so when you guys are creating these fractals 
you guys can do a couple things with it. So you guys can also you guys can create a function that scans back and when they change from like zero to a value. You guys can have a pending order like a buy limit go to the uh, fractals lower or have a stop a stop limit for the fractals upper and you guys can basically uh, create things like that or you guys can use the fractals for stop loss locations or use them for target profit locations. So there's, there's a lot of things you can do but the first thing you do is to create the indicator and also be able to read it and if you do that if you see is that it keeps on changing values for all the fractals that are coming up. So please use utilize this code it's all free guys if any questions or comments let me know if you guys you need you know basically more details about it just join my uh telegram it's in every description also i'll put it into the comment section or go to my website there's an uh, education for, portion for uh trading and also for um uh, meditator forward which is all free take advantage of that and if you guys want my personal services uh please dm me on telegram or on facebook and we can have that conversation, guys. But I just want to show you guys a very easy video on how to use fractals and make it very uh, versatile. You guys can see all the different values. You guys can scan back. You guys can add so many things to this and layer upon it. But uh, that's the video, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video.